Work is tutorial for beginners. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to use WorkIS, an all-in-one field service management software that helps businesses manage jobs, scheduling, invoicing, and team collaboration. Whether you're a small business owner, a dispatcher, or a field technician, this tutorial will make it easier for you to get started with WorkIS. The first thing you want to do is go on to workis.com and from there you can actually get started for completely free. So you're going to tap on free trial. After selecting free trial you'll be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to sign up whether you're running an HVAC company or whichever field service company you'll be able to select that and you'll be able to sign up. Once you have signed up the next thing I want you to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on your profile pic or your initials in the top right hand corner better yet and you're going to select manage team. After selecting manage team from there you can tap on add new and you'll be able to add new team members. After you have added the new team members by tapping on add new right here you can input their email address and name and information. After you have added their information, the next thing I'll be showing you to do is how to create and schedule jobs. To create a job on WorkIS, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and select jobs. Once you have selected jobs, you can see a sample job right here. To create a new job, we'll tap on create new in the top right hand corner. Then you could input in the client name. After you have put in the client name and information, as you can see right here, you can scroll down and you could add in the job type. So you could select a job type or you could tap on add new. And from there, you could add the job type. You can also add the job source, as you can see right here. And you can add in the job description. Then you can schedule when you would like the job to be done. So you could tap on the calendar icon. And from there, you could schedule when you would like the job to be done, when it starts and when it ends. And you can select the time also. And you can also set up whether you would like this to be a recurring schedule. So you can also assign it to a team member by tapping assign team member. Once you're finished doing that, all you'll need to do now, you'll tap on create at the bottom right here. And that's how you'll be able to create and schedule your first job as you can see right there. Now after you have created and scheduled your first job, the next thing I'll be showing you how to do is manage customers and dispatching technicians. To do this, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on clients. After tapping on clients, you can tap on add client from the right hand column. Then from there, you could put in the client first and last name and necessary information you can put in their address and all of that. Once you have done that, all you will need to do now, if I were to go to the sample client, so let me do that real quick. So I could go to this sample client better yet. After you have gone to the sample client, you can see how the layout looks. So this is how it will look once you have entered in the client information, as you can see right there. After entering the client information, there are a few things that you can do next. One of them is you could create an estimate or you could create an invoice. To create a new invoice, you'll tap on invoices from the left hand menu option. After you have tapped on invoices, from there you could search by client. So you could tap right here and you could search by client. At the moment, you can see that we don't have any active invoice. So we are going to tap on estimates and we're going to be creating a new estimate. To create this, we'll tap on add new. Then you can tap right here and you could put in the name. So let me type in the name. After you have selected the name, as you can see right there, it will automatically populate it. Then you can scroll down and you can add an item. So I'll just type in test for example sake. So you can see create new test. Then from there you could put in the quantity and you can also put in the price that you will charge. After you are finished doing that, you will tap on save. Once you are finished doing that, you can add more items. You can tap on add item 
and you can continue adding items. Once I'm finished adding the items, I can tap on add payment or I could upload different attachments as you can see right there. I could also require a signature so you can see the different options and you can go over to the top right hand corner. You could either tap on actions from there. You could choose to preview it. You could choose to download it. You could choose to require a signature or you can simply tap on send to send it out. So you could tap on send. After you have tapped on send from there, the person will also be able to pay online by selecting the online payment option. So after creating the estimate, if it is a case that you would like to create an invoice, you'll go over to the top left hand corner and tap on create new. Then from there, you can tap on invoice. After selecting invoice, you can tap on name and you could search for the customer name. After you have searched for the customer name, you can scroll down and from there you could tap on add item. After tapping on add item, from there you can add the item that you have created or the service that you have created. And you can continue adding more items and services. Once you're finished doing that, you're going to tap on send in the top right hand corner. And that's how you'll be able to send out an invoice. Another thing that you can also do with this platform, you can use it to track team performance and reports. To do this, you'll go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select reports. And from there, you'll be able to see the amount of jobs that they have done. You can also track their timesheets. You can also select equipment. And from there, you'll be able to see the different equipment that they have used and so on. And if we were to go over to the left hand menu option once more, there are a few more features that you will also get access to. For example, you can see features right here. You can use their sales proposal features. You can also see service plans. You can set up automations as you can see right there. There are numerous options that you have with this platform. And to view your schedule, you can tap on schedule from the left hand menu option. And if it is a case that you would like to, for example, create different tasks and assign it to persons, you can also do that with this platform. So you could tap right here by tapping on create new. After tapping on create new from there, you could select event. After tapping on select event, you can put in the title, description, and then you could choose the team member that you would like to assign it to right there. And you can select the date that you would like the task to be completed. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.